The level of, of, of uh, learning in Sofi Gorevich was extremely high. By the third grade, they were writing uh, short stories, not dictation. I remember a particular event where they had a trial of Bunche Schweig. Well, if you know the story Bunche Schweig? Yeah. It turned out that the boys were his defenders and the girls were his accusers. And it was at an extremely high level. It happened to be that one of the people visiting that was John who, upon seeing it, said, if this is the level of our education, then we don't have to worry about our future. Now, and Fanya was a very proud student of Sofi Kurevich. When there was a telephone there, there was also the Board of Jewish Education right nearby. To, to use the phone, you had to be a good speaker. Fanya was chosen to use the phone for official purposes. Um, an editorial comment from Elder. You asked who won the defenders or the accusers of Bunch. If you remember the story, the letzte vote is in der Kategel 
yeah. The prosecutor yeah. laughed resoundingly when Bunche couldn't speak. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which means without his having to say a word, Bunche had sentenced himself to nothingness. And so he is in Yiddish literature, which is sometimes viewed through Christian eyes, he's seen as the suffering servant. But in Yiddish literature, through Peretz's eyes, mm -hmm. he was the worker who had every opportunity, but didn't recognize his own strength. So it was a self-centered. Uh, Sofia Karolovic, can I get a little bit of a little bit of a Yeah. <laughs> 